Steph Curry is now the game's all-time leader in three-pointers made, passing the great Ray Allen to uh, get that that award, that honor, I guess. And Rob, I look the NBA has this has become a huge event. You know, a few games ago, somebody asked him if he could hit 16 to pass Ray in one night. What a joke that was! And you I know, he talked. He, he didn't poo poo, which I, I I get it. You know, he's that great. You shouldn't poo poo it. You never know. But that became a big story. And tonight, uh, I mean, it was a. I don't know if you saw it, Rob. They made a scene at the Garden. Um, Spike Lee was all over the place. Both of Steph's parents were there. He got big hugs from them. Ray Allen was there. They talked to Ray and Reggie Miller before the game. Reggie Miller's on the call. Reggie's third in three-pointers made. They stopped the game. Uh, They did much more for this, Rob, than the NFL is doing for all these records that Tom Brady's breaking, you know, this year. Let let me say this. I think as years go by, and if you guys want to argue with me and call him the greatest three-point shooter because he's had more makes. Not three-point shooter. Shooter. No, I'm saying, but if if you want to argue with me about his three-point shooting prowess, fine. I, I... He's not the greatest shooter in my mind. That's just me. But here's the other thing that years from now, this will, you'll look back at it and it'll be comical. Hear me out. Because you'll realize that it has more to do with the game and guys putting up threes more so than it be, and being about Steph Curry. And here's to illustrate exactly that point. Steph's record probably won't last that long because in his first four years, Steph had three, 643 threes. Donovan Mitchell in his That's first three seasons. attempted or made? Makes. Makes. Okay. 726. Right? Right. So he already had way more in his first four. And now Trey Young's coming up behind him, Chris. Currently in his fourth season, he's on pace for 710. All I'm saying is the numbers are astronomical and there'll be guys coming behind him shooting even more threes than maybe Steph even attempted to start. And they'll play and this record will be changing hands over and over and over. It's I get it. At this moment, they want to celebrate it, have a great night. I'm not knocking it. I'm not going to rain on this parade. It rained like cats and dogs in L.A. But I think it's Did it today? Oh, my God. Like, oh, wow. About time y'all got some inclement weather. I'm up in no, here. No, it rained. Rob the G. Northeast battling. You're from here. It, was, it rained last night, right? And all day today. Like most of the all day. Right. Here, here's the thing, Rob. And I hear what you're saying. They shoot far more three-pointers than they ever did. All right. Uh, Ray Allen, the leader, obviously, before tonight, attempted 5.7 three-point shots per game for his career. Steph Curry attempts 8.7 for his career. So that's three more attempts per game. So, yes, they shoot far more threes than ever. And that has something to do with this. But here's where you're wrong, Rob. And, and look, I, I, I don't view this like when Le- if LeBron passes Kareem as the all-time leading scorer, that'll be far bigger than this to me. If, and I don't think he will, but I mean, I don't know who in the world is going to catch John Stockton for the all-time assist lead. But if somebody ever does, that'll be a bigger deal. Rebounds, we don't keep totals as much. Nobody's going to get near what Wilt and Bill Russell and those guys did, right? But those are the three big counting stats. I think Russell Westbrook averaging a triple-double for a season, and now obviously, what, three seasons, is more impressive. To me, this is like if somebody breaks the steals record. Nice. Great. But not a huge deal. That said, Steph Curry is easily the greatest shooter in NBA history. 
If you want to say he's not the greatest clutch shooter in NBA history, no, you can't be no, both. I'm not you talking to you. No. I'm not. I'm not. I'm okay. giving my. I'm giving All my right, point. Go ahead. You if you want to say he's not sense. the best clutch shooter, shooter, fine. But Steph Curry is clearly. It ain't even close because when you look at the top ten shooters, uh, three point percentage, Steph is the uh, well, and his brother Seth now. They are the only two players in the top 10 percentage-wise who were full-time players. Everybody else was a specialist off the bench who shot threes. Kyle Korver, Steve Kerr, Tim Legler, Hubert Davis. And all they did was come in and catch and shoot. Steph is running off screens, catching and shooting, uh, creating his own shot off the dribble, playing for 37 minutes a night. I mean, it, it, he's a 43% career three-point shooter. Ray Allen, as great as Ray was, and Ray was awesome. Ray is underrated. Ray Allen is 47th in three-point shooting percentage. Steph is 7th. Reggie Miller is 61st in three-point shooting percentage. It took Ray Allen 1,300 games to set this record. Steph broke it in 788. And Ray Allen still, to this moment, has attempted more than 500 three-pointers than Steph. 540 more threes than Steph Curry. So, it's a, oh, it's a done deal. Case closed as the best shooter of all time. I don't care if he didn't hit a game winner. He's got three rings. So he clearly shoots well when, when they need it in the big games, whether he's hit the last shot at the last second or not. So to me, this, this record is just kind of justification. He's been the best shooter of all time for the last six years. But this is just kind of, you know, I, and I think, Rob, to your point, I don't think it'll be broken like, I think it'll be a while because I, I, I get you, but you only did Steph's first three years. No, remember first his four. third year, first he only played. Years. First okay, four. his third year only played 26 games because like remember the he had the ankle years, problems. Right. Okay, right. So four. he didn't play four full seasons or even close. And then his last 10 years, Rob, he's averaged 10 three point shots a game. And all the young guys, Donovan Mitchell, Trey Young, Duncan Robinson, all of these young guys who are hoisting a lot of threes, first of all, none of them are shooting 10 a game like Steph has for the last 10 years. And secondly, they all shoot them at a far lower percentage. They're not hitting as nearly – Donovan Mitchell's a 35% three-point shooter this year. Yeah, it doesn't mean that he can't Trey be Young is or a, he is might a, not is get below more. that. I think so there'll be players – So my point is they're not, they're not going to be – well, Trey Young is 39%, but he's, he's shooting seven a game. And so – my point is, you got to – Steph is going – if he plays another four or five years at a high level, let's give him four years at a high level. He could have four years where they're the not, game, and his he percentage could have comes down. I said he could – Oh, he it, could, it might come down end, a little. At the end, his percentage could come down as he gets older, Chris. But he, I mean, he should be over 40 for his I'm career. I'm just saying, it, it, it is not inconceivable as you get older, uh, you know, and you have more wear and tear on your legs – that, that his percentage could go down. No, it may come down a little, but I'm saying I think for his career, he's already at 43%. He'll probably be above 40 for his career. And he's going to, he's going to add to this mark over the next four years or so. So I, I'm not so convinced that it'll be broken anytime soon. I, but I do think this, Rob, even though the NBA may not make as – probably will make as big of a deal. But whoever does break it, and it might be 20 years from now, I don't know when. It'll be a bigger deal than this because the game, I mean, who knows what's in store for the game. But there has been such a sea change in the way basketball is played, Rob, that they're gonna, a, lot of, a ton of dudes are going to break Ray Allen's record. You know, like, and they're, Ray, but in 20 years, Ray won't, probably won't even be in the top 10, if not lower than that. Yeah, I, I just have I have different expectations when you call somebody the greatest shooter, except for he's not clutch. 
It, it just doesn't even go. I didn't say he's not clutch. It doesn't even go hand in hand. Well, I didn't all say right, you had clutch. your say. Can I? Can no, I but go? you you're putting words in my mouth. No, you I didn't you, say. Did I say Chris Broussard? Did I did I say you Chris Broussard? You said Broussard? you. All right. You said you. I did and not you, say you. you, you all right. You, People yeah, you say you. they act you. like it don't matter. Like oh, it don't matter. Just the, the, the same way. Nobody says Marv Levy's the greatest NFL coach who went to four straight Super Bowls. He don't have what. He he won four. He got to Steph the Super Bowl four times. Okay, Steph got three rings. Um, no. Marley, can I can I make many? my point? Can you, I make you, my you point? Just make, you, you, my point say is smart. say something smart. My point is make you got to to be the greatest shooter. You got to have those moments when people go, "Wow, I can't believe right, Steph yeah, knocked that down moments. and won the game." <laughs> they don't do that. It's like, oh, what? Oh, Steph, he missed another one. Go look at the videos. They're all over you YouTube. All the misses when they when the Warriors need him most. How could you look at How's that guy and say the greatest rings? shooter? I, hello. How's he got can, three rings? Can you cut his, his mic off, please? I'm just asking. I'm not you talking like about rings. rings. I'm talking about the because he had Kevin Durant. Because oh, Kevin really? Durant made he shots didn't run over, the Durant over, Le- Durant over LeBron team. James. That's why. When they're up, it doesn't make sense. Two, one, Can I two, talk? Yeah, Can on. I? T- Hello? Those are big shots. Stop it. When? You're talking about the greatest shooter, but he ain't clutch. It's okay that he's not clutch. Who I don't said he ain't clutch? Me. Chris, Who says I'm he's talking. Not clutch? Quiet down. Who says he's not clutch? Alex, turn his <laughs> mic off. <laughs> I'm done. Go ahead. It doesn't make sense to crown somebody the greatest shooter, but they can't make big shots in big moments. It's a contradiction. He's the best three-point shooter because he has the most makes. I'll give you that. As I stand here today and I need a big shot to win a big game, I don't want Steph Curry near the ball. If he's throwing up confetti or a bucket or a half-court shot, a circus shot for the crowd. I want Steph Curry. If I want the game to be won at the buzzer, I don't want the ball near Steph Curry. Steph Curry can be a decoy or put on the bench. I don't want him touching the ball in that moment. He doesn't make those shots. His shot's not wet. He's wet. Rob, who says he's not clutch? Stats say he's not clutch. Well, you said somebody says he's not clutch. I haven't heard anybody say that. Stats. I say he, you 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 can say he's not the most clutch shooter ever. That doesn't mean he's not clutch. And let me ask you this: Can I? What what was stats? the game winner? What's the game winner you remember from Isaiah Thomas? Big shot. I didn't call, nobody's called I'm Isaiah. Th- no, no, no. no basket, because basket. nobody's called Isaiah Thomas the greatest shooter of all. I don't need don't to do to that. Shot, but if layup. you're going to say, if no, you're going to say that somebody's the greatest game shooter, winner. I want you to give me the example. And Answer you don't me. have any. Game winner. That's why your argument is weak. That's why all you Steph Can you Curry minions me? I'm are talking you about. A question. He's the greatest shooter, but I, I can't tell you a shot he made because he hasn't made one. Was this Isaiah guy, Thomas? He hasn't clutch? made one. Was no Isaiah one called Thomas Isaiah? Clutch? Isaiah Thomas, yes, made clutch okay. baskets. What was in, the in, what in was beating the Michael right Jordan, the Larry Bird? And, Give me and, the shot you remember him hitting no, at the buzzer to win a game. Nobody called him. No, I, I, it could be a layup. Nobody it called, could be a layup, Rob. Nobody Give me the called shot. him Not jump the shot. greatest shooter of all time. Not that's jump my shot. Argument. Give me the clutch layup he made to win I a game. I don't have his career in oh, front of you me. Don't? You know what I have? You don't? I, I have I Steph Curry's I thought, career in front of me. I thought he was always remember. I got the video. Remember when he did this? Remember the, when he did I got that? the video. I got the video of Mike Steph Curry's nine, my, nine misses. You guys, I got, keep, I got the video keep doing too, that. watching three rings. Nine, yeah. How about thanks that? to Kevin you Durant. Can, you can have Kevin the nine Durant misses. and injuries. I still got the video of him Kevin not getting Durant. a Finals MVP. How Kevin about Durant that video? Kevin Durant ran the Steph's team. Stop Steph being a, 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 Kevin a, a Steph Curry fanboy. You got no video. Show me the big shot he's made, Chris. You don't have one. He's the greatest, three greatest rings, shooter, right? my ass. He's not the greatest shooter. First of all, don't please toot TMI. All right, we we don't want to hear that. All right, but I don't. I, I, I'm not a Steph Curry minion. I'm dropping facts. He's clearly the best. He's 43 percent from three. 
All right, it's your turn to weigh in. 877-99 on Fox. 877-996-6369. Somebody's panties are in a bunch. That's right. Your I turn just to weigh And I pulled them out with my teeth. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is just full of TMI. All right. Um, what do you think about Steph breaking this three-point record? And is he the best shooter of all time? All right. Let's kick it off with uh, James in Oakland. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up? What's up, guys? I've been following you all since the beginning of your show. I love both of y'all's takes on everything. Thank um, you. But, Rob, man... You got it wrong about Steph. With your logic, Robert Ory is the greatest shooter of all time. Oh, no, he's not. Steph, wow, good point. Steph, really Steph, good no, he's point. not. That, you that, don't know what Steph does for what it, No, no, no. Hold on, James. I'm going to let you make your point because I want you to put right. words in my mouth. Because yeah. it ain't just about Robert Ory making those big shots. He don't have enough body of work to be considered that. All, my point is when you call somebody the greatest shooter of all time, he should have some big shots – Big moments that matter. That's all I'm saying. But but you're saying the big shots that he doesn't have were only in the finals. He's done way a lot of shots in the regular season and the playoffs that have either gotten us uh, to the next game or got us first place. Look, last year we had nobody. We were decimated at the half. At the it, half. Hold on. And if we he, came if back they didn't win the any, if they didn't if they didn't win any championships, okay, they didn't win any championship, and Steph had no big makes. You would still say he's the greatest shooter of all time. No, you would first not. All, that's, winning, that's winning, first champ, winning that first you know championship what? If without Muhammad KD. Ali never was the heavyweight champ, no, would you no, say he's the best no. boxer ever? No, I mean, what does that no, mean, right? Uh, James, hey, I, I, I got it. You know, that's your team. That's your guy. I'm, I have higher standards. I have higher standards. If I'm going to crown somebody the greatest of anything, I'm going to nitpick the hell out of their resume. But, That's okay, Reggie do. Miller even says he's the greatest shooter of That's, all time. What does that mean? He's being nice. What is he going to say? He's being nice. nice. <laughs> he really believes it. What's he going to say? He's not? James, yeah. when Reggie, James, when Reggie Miller says, trash talkers says ever. he's not, then you come get me, okay? Then you come get no, me. No, Reggie's one of the biggest trash talkers ever. He's on television. He does Look the game. He's not going to trash Steph Curry. talking all this Curry. trash to get about Michael Jordan. Is he trying to be nice? No, Some that's dudes different. say what the he, heck they believe. That's different because he wow. played with Jordan. He has an ax to grind. Reggie Miller has no ax to grind. Let's go to KD in Alabama. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What up, KD? What's up, fellas? How y'all doing tonight, man? Good, man. How are you? I'm great, great. Uh, hey, Chris, look, I can't believe I'm, I'm going to agree with somebody who compared Tom Brady to Robert Ory as the <laughs> Robert Ory of the NFL. I, I can't believe it. But I do agree with Rob that I can't – when I look back, I can think about NJ. I think about him hitting an, a playoff shot. I think about Ray Allen, big shots against the Lakers in the playoffs. Uh, even Reggie Miller, but I do agree with Rob the point that you need a body of work and the clutch playoff shot. That I mean, he does have a point in that sense. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying he, he's a how bum is he not or he can't been, play. How I'm is not he not? That. The the last shot has to come with no time on the clock. I mean, I, and I'm just gonna say this for real. And, and look, Kevin Durant is awesome. But that shot he hit over LeBron James is so overrated. And here's why. And, and that's all you can point to, Rob, is that, oh, that big shot Kevin Durant hit, you know, uh, over LeBron. The, the Warriors won that series. How long did that series go? What was that his first year with the Warriors? That series went, they won that first series in five games. They were up two games to, to one. There's no pressure. And you had all these other great players on your team drawing attention. I mean, come on, man. It's easier to shoot well when you got a bunch of other teammates drawing attention. So I'm just saying, like, you, you talk about that shot like it was some awesome shot. What if he missed? They still would have won in five games. I mean, come on. He didn't miss. Just like Steph had – just what if Steph made one? Then maybe we could look at him. 
You can call him the greatest shooter you want, and that's what your standards I'm not are. Alone. I'm, Most that, that's everybody fine. calls it. Reggie, that's fine. Reggie Miller got high standards too, that's and he fine. calls that's him the your, best. That's your standard. You can give I have a, a different standard. I don't, I, don't, but Reggie, I don't follow the sheep. I don't follow the sheep. I've never done it. I was the first it. one ever to call him the best I don't follow the sheep. People Who is, follow I'm, the sheep I'm right the leader. off the cliff. I'm the shepherd. Go ahead. No, you're not. You ain't no damn shepherd. You can forget about that. Who was the First one you heard say he was the best I shooter. Don't, I don't remember you saying it first, but I, I said don't know. It in 2015 at the NBA Finals. I'm glad on his day you're patting yourself on the back that you did something uh, nah, to make him the greatest shooter. Nah, you called me a sheep. Shooter. I'm just defending myself. You're against a sheep, your, your like slander. everybody else. Against your slander. It ain't slander. <laughs> it is slander. I ain't no sheep. I'm My just whole a, life is about I've been about a reporter leading, for brother. 35 years, okay. and I don't care. I, if I hurt people's feelings because I don't say what they want to hear, everybody ripped me what, when I talked about— What's that got to do with anything? No, because everybody thinks that you just got to go along. Oh, just, just go along with Who everybody. Who thinks that? Everybody thinks Steph is so you cute. You talking about me making it about myself? Just go along. Just go what are you along, talking? You're bringing up just something that's along. not even relevant. I ain't going okay, along Okay, you've been a that. reporter for 35 years. Great. What's that got to do with this? I'm just objective. I'm not a fanboy, really? and I never will be. Oh, you, you're Aaron never Rogers will biggest be fanboy. Ever. You're when Aaron I become Rogers a fanboy, when I become a fanboy, I'm done. I'm quitting. I'll never be a fanboy on the radio, on a, in print, on television. Ever, ever, ever. Here's the first question Rob's gonna ask Randy Mueller. Randy, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, just, just. I mean. Just, Aaron Rodgers. Just, Can we go to the update because I don't it's even know what you're talking about? 